بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئرس لیٹس ڈسکس واٹ از ٹیسٹ اور واٹ از لینگویج ٹیسٹنگ واٹ از ٹیسٹ ہیکس کنسیڈر دیٹ دا رول آف اے ٹیسٹ از ویری یوزفل اینڈ امپارٹنٹ اسپیشلی ان لینگویج لرننگ اٹ از اے مینس ٹو شو بوت دا اسٹوڈنٹس اینڈ دا ٹیچرس ہاؤ مچ دا لرنرس ہیو لرن ڈیورنگ اے کورس اٹ ڈز ناٹ مین دیٹ اے یوژول ٹیسٹ فار میٹ ود اے سیٹ آف ایکٹیویٹیز ول بی یوزڈ آل دا ٹائم more over according to hatton tests could be used to display the strength and weaknesses of teaching process and help the teachers improve it they can understand what should be paid more attention to should be worked on and practiced furthermore the tests results will display the students their weak points and if carefully guided by the teachers the students will be even able to take any remedial action In short, we can say that a test is very useful and important tool in the process of language teaching and learning. It does not only show the weakness and the strength of students, it also shows the effectiveness of teacher's methodology, the weakness of curriculum, and it also points out what should be paid attention to or what should be practiced more in the classroom. Thompson believes that students learn more when they have tests. Here we can both agree and disagree. Certainly pre- preparing for a test, the student has to study the material that is supposed to be tested. But often it does not mean that such type of learning will obligatorily lead to acquisition and full understanding of it. On the opposite, it could often lead to power cramming. Now this is very important to discuss here. Although Thompson believes that students learn more when they have tests, but there is another issue. The issue is that when there is a pressure of test on the students, the students, they do not try to understand and acquire things. They usually cram things to pass the test. And it is a normal observation in teaching learning process. All the students, majority of them, they want to pass the papers. So thus, after the papers and examination, they usually forget whatever they have. taught in the classroom however very often the tests can facilitate the students acquisition process that is the students are to be checked the knowledge for the irregular verbs forms being constantly tested by means of small tests they can learn them successfully and transfer them to long term memory as well although according to thompson tests decrease practice and instruction time what he means is that the students are as if limited they are exposed to practice of a new material however very often the time implied for it is strictly recommended and observed by a syllabus now there is another issue the issue is although we have taught that it facilitates students acquisition process and the students they take care of the things they have taught in the classroom because they have to appear in the test and examination and thus practicing these things transfer things into their long term memory but thompson believes that these tests they decrease practice and instruction time because most of the time the time is wasted in preparing and administrating tests but usually syllabus observe and take care of the test time in its design hex explain two relevant items in this connection evaluation and assessment they seem to similar notion but they are entirely different she says that when we assess our students we commonly are interested how and how much students have learned whatever have taught to the students how much they have achieved it how much they have understood it and acquired it on the other hand evaluation is something else in this process we focus on how the learning process is developing what is the pace of the learning process inside the classroom these both aspects are of great importance for the teachers and the students and should be correlated in order to make evaluation and assessment go hand in hand however very frequently the teacher assesses the students without taking care of evaluation so thus evaluation and assessment both should be carried out in a school year in order to fully evaluate the students progress and the teachers progress in the course or study or in a school year measurement assessment and evaluations are three very important terms in this connection let's discuss the differences in these three terms these terms are not different words for same concept 
but a process serving as prerequisite to each other and having unique purpose. All these three have different purposes and they are the prerequisite to each other. Now let's discuss what are the differences. Every mechanism or process starts with measurement in the field of education. Measurement generate tools. Tools such as test, observation, quiz, checklist, homework, portfolios. They can give information about student learning. The information we got from the tool is measurement. Now, if the measurement is used for the process of making teaching learning process better, then it is assessment. If it is used for inquiring students learning, then it is measurement. But if it is used for inquiring teaching learning process, then it is assessment. For example, if I want to decide that the procedure or way I adopted for students learning, that is books, activities, field experience, is good for their learning and they are according to their needs of the students then it is assessment and if from these measure i decide that either their learning is getting better or not or how much students learn and what i taught them and what is the quality or standard of that learning then it is evaluation assessment and evaluation don't exist in hierarchy they both are parallel and different in purpose measurement is the source to move towards assessment and evaluation because it provides base and evidence to quantify teaching learning process the quantified numbers which is obtained through measurement different tools of measurement tests etc has no meaning until we do assessment or evaluation assessment purpose is to make teaching learning process better so that student learning improve and measurement purpose is to align the learning with purpose this was a brief lecture about what is test and what is language testing we have discussed the definition of test the purpose of test then we have discussed the difference between measurement assessment and evaluation in this video thank you so much